Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.16 from the chapter number 6. The problem is the BCD ripple counter shown in figure 6.14, this figure is from inside of the chapter, has 4 flip flops and 16 states, of which 10 are used. Because it is a BCD ripple counter, so there will be only 10 used state that means from 0 to 9 from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1001 0, 0, 1. 1001 0, 0, 1 means 9 analyze the circuit and determine the next state so we have to analyze the operation of this circuit 6.14 this figure is 6.14 this is from inside of the chapter okay so we have to analyze the operation of the circuit and we have to determine the next state for each of other six new states so for the new states, we have to consider and we have to find out the next state. If a noise signal sends the circuit to one of the new states, so we have to consider the new states that is from 10 to 15. So this is the BCD counter circuit. Here we have negative H triggered flip flops. They are ZK flip flops. Okay. So here we have the Q1 output, Q2, Q4, and Q8. Okay. So these are the outputs. Of this flip-flops and here we have the count that means here we'll have the input signal and these circuits will respond to a negative edge because here we have bubble here so negative edge means from 1 to 0 transfer when we have a 1 this is 1 level this is 0 level okay this one is 0 level so 1 to 0 transition that is we have a negative edge then only this circuit will or this flip-flops will respond to the inputs that means whenever we get a negative edge at this clock inputs these flip-flops will give the outputs depending on the inputs and the previous output okay so here we can see that for the first case and the third case we have the sorted inputs that means this input and this input are sorted and they are connected to logic one okay similarly this third flip-flop also has a sorted input j and k are the sorted inputs therefore we can understand that these two flip-flops are working as a toggle flip-flop okay t flip-flop or complementary flip-flop so the second flip-flop this j input is feedback from the complemented output from this port jk flip-flop so whatever we have here this will be feedback here okay and then this fourth flip-flop this j input is the n, n operation output of this q4 and q2 q2 and q4 are multiplied with this n gate and the output of this n gate is applied to this j input of this fourth jk flip-flop okay now let us consider the unused states so let us consider here we have suppose unused states here we'll have suppose next state suppose we have the unused state 1 0 1 0 that means 10 up to 9 they are used in the bcd countdown process okay so first unused state is 1 0 1 0 so what will be the next state suppose here we'll have now 1 0 1 0 this is q8 this is q4 q2 q1 so this is q8 q4 q2 q1 okay this value are q4 q2 q1 so let me write down here this is equal to 1 equal to 0 1 0 one zero so here we have this present state outputs this present state outputs are suppose one zero one zero that means by noise signal we have attained at this one zero one zero a new state now we have to find out the next state so here we can see that when q1 is zero this clock input is getting zero okay and this clock input is getting zero at this present state when we have this q2 is equal to one this output is feedback to this clock input so we'll have one here at this input and this clock is connected through a AND gate so this q4 is zero so here we'll have zero this input and here we'll have this one input so here we have one so now let us see the next step so whenever we have a count here that means whenever we have a clock signal here count means whenever we have a pulse here so if any of the pulse arrive at this input so what will happen a pulse have 
positive edge as well as negative edge so at this negative edge this flip flop will be activated because they have sorted input and they are connected to logic 1 okay so whatever be the previous output the next step will be the complement of this previous output so let me write down here so now it will become 1 okay so this one is connected to this clock input here so here we'll get now one as well as this one comes here through this input and here we have one now here okay that means these are the now clock inputs okay so here we can see that for this next flip-flop previously it was zero and now it is one that means we have a now a positive transition so from zero it is going to one level so it is a positive transition so this flip-flop will be deactivated because it is a negative edge trigger flip-flop okay so this bubble represents that it is a negative edge trigger flip-flop so this flip-flop will be off that means whatever be the previous output so it will remain in the same state irrespective of this inputs because you can see that this clock not getting a negative edge okay so whatever be the input it will remain in the previous state okay that means this flip-flop is deactivated okay so it will have now one that means previously it was one now also it will become one okay it will remain in the same state so now it is one this one is connected here now see now here we have one and as well as here also we have one at this end get input okay so when we have one here okay for this third flip-flop previously it was one now also it is one it is remaining in the same state so there is no negative transition that means there is no negative it's triggering okay so the output will remain in the same state okay that means what previously it was zero so in respect of this input it will remain in the same state it will remain in the same state zero so when q4 is zero this zero is applied here again here we have a zero to one transition at this clock input for this flip-flop so whatever be the input here so here you can see that zero and one so it will become zero and this case one but irrespective of this inputs because we have a 0 to 1 transition that is positive transition okay at this clock input so this flip-flop will be deactivated and whatever be the previous output it will remain in the same state that means it will become 1 okay now what we have got this q8 is 1 q4 is 0 q2 is 1 and q1 is 1 so 1 0 1 1 so you have to write here 1 0 1 1 so we have got this next step now if we consider this to be present state what will be the next step we have to see now now let us see so here we can see that 1 0 1 1 means 8 plus 2 plus 1 it is 11 okay so it is still in the unused state we do not want this unused condition we have to see again the next step okay so now let us see for this 1 0 1 1 so here we have 1 0 1 one so whenever we have a count here because we have for next step there should be a clock at this input that means whenever we have another pulse there will be a negative edge okay at this negative edge this flip-flop will be activated so what we'll have this flip-flop will complement the previous output because it is a t flip-flop working as a t flip-flop because j and k inputs are sorted and we have a negative edge here okay so whatever be the previous output it will complement the previous output now this one will become zero so this zero is connected here okay so here we'll have zero now and this clock is again connected here so here we'll have zero so when we have zero here this clock input of the second flip-flop is getting a one to zero transition that means this flip-flop is getting a negative edge so this flip-flop will now be activated so depending on this inputs it will give the output so we have to see now the inputs so previously what will have this j and k input this k input is one okay this k input is one because it is connected to logic one and j input we have to see from here okay j is connected from the inverted output or complemented output of this fourth flip-flop okay so this q8 we have to see previously it was one so here we'll have zero 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 previously it was one so it will be zero and here this one also it is zero so zero will be connected here that means here we have zero okay so zero and one so what will be the flip-flop output we know that for the next state of jk flip-flop we have 
q of n plus 1 is equal to j q bar plus k bar q so this is the characteristic equation of j k flip flop so here you can see that this j q bar j is 0 so it will be j q bar is 0 and k bar q k bar k is 1 so k bar will be 0 that means this will have 0 output that means next step will be this one 0 so now we have 0 here so this 0 will come here okay so here we'll have 0 now and here again you will have 0 now so now let us see the third flip flop here we have sorted inputs now here we have a 1 to 0 transition that means this flip flop will be activated because it is getting a negative edge okay that is 1 to 0 transition so whatever be the previous output it will complement therefore previously it was 0 now it will become 1 so this one is again connected to this input so here we'll have one now at this and get input okay so one and zero the output will be zero so here we have zero now okay and here we have a one to zero transition at this input of this clock okay and here we have logic one okay so zero and one so what will have zero because previously also we have seen that when we have zero and one so when you have a negative transition the output is zero so here also we'll have a zero output that means we have got now the next step is zero one zero zero okay so the next step will be zero one zero zero we have got that whenever we have a that means a new state one zero one zero it will go first into another a new state that is one zero one one and from one zero one one it will go to a u state that means this is less than nine okay so this is a u state now now let us go to our next part so once after one zero one zero this this is also covered one zero one one so now we have to see one one zero zero 1 1 0 0 because here we can see that we have completed this 1 0 1 0 this is 10 this is 11 this is 12 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 okay so it will be 12 now here we have this present state 1 1 0 0 so here we have suppose 1 so here we have 1 0 and 0 for this second case so for this case we have to consider here this is 1 1 0 and 0 now this 0 is connected to this clock input so here we'll have 0 so this 0 is again connected to this fourth flip-flop clock input so here we'll have 0 at this clock input so here we have a 0 input so when we have a pulse input at this count here okay so what will have this flip-flop will invert the previous output okay so previously it was 0 so it will now become one so keep in mind that this first flip-flop will always be complementing it is getting a count here it will be complementing its previous output so here we have one here now this one is connected here okay so zero to one now this have zero to one transition here okay and similarly here it will have one okay here you can see that here we have a positive transition that means 0 to 1 transition to this clock so whatever be the previous output it will remain in the same state because this flip flop is deactivated because it has a positive transition okay so previously it was 0 so it will remain in the same state 0 okay so this 0 is again connected here so here we will have 0 at this clock input and 0 here at this input at this end get input will have zero here so it will get zero here okay at this clock input so from zero to zero that means there is no transition okay that means this flip-flop will be deactivated so whatever be the previous state it will remain in the same state okay that means previously it was one now it will remain in the same state so it has one now so this one is again connected here okay so here we'll have one okay one and zero so this will be zero so what will have this 0 and here we have 1 so 1 always because it is connected to logic 1 now here we can see that for this clock input here we have 0 to 1 transition that means we have a positive edge here okay so this flip-flop only respond to a negative edge or this flip-flop will be deactivated because it is getting a positive edge so previously it was 1 it will remain in the same state okay so what will be the next step? it will be 1 1 0 1 so it will be 1 1 0 1 so in this way you have to see again the next step 
so following this procedure you will get the next step okay for this 1101 one, so i have previously calculated what will be the outputs okay so let me write down here quickly so here we'll have 0100 one, zero, zero. so here also we'll have this u state so if there is a unused state due to the some noise signal so it will first go to next state 1101 one, one, that is 13 okay 8 plus 4 plus 1 okay so it is 13 so from 13 it will go to 4 that means it will go to u state that means whenever we have a noise signal and this noise signal occurs in a unused state it will go to first another unused state that is 1101 one, that is this is 12 13 okay from 12 to 13 it will go and from 13 it will go to 4 now let us go to our this 14 14 means 1110 so previously we have seen that it is 10 11 okay 12 13 okay up to 13 we have seen now we are left with 14 and 15 so when we have 14 so similar to the previous case if we analyze the outputs what we will get you will get 1 1 1 1 that is it is 15 and when we have 15 as the present state here okay at this outputs so the next state will be 0 0 0 0 this is 0 0 is one of the u state so whenever we have some noise signal and the output of this BCD counter goes to some unused state because of these noise signals, okay, this circuit will be self-correcting and it will go to this step. Suppose if this is the unused state, if it is occurring, then it will go to this state and another unused state and from that it will go to U state. And similarly also here we have the similar process, okay. So in this way, this circuit is correcting the outputs. So this is the solution of the problem number 6.16. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.